There's a lot of regeneration going on in this area right now. There's foxgloves that are blooming that were never really here before. I never saw them. And I think now that the area has opened up, uh, the understory is coming back. I didn't start out thinking I was an environmental artist, and I, I still don't think that. I'm an artist that responds to a site and a place, wh wherever that might be. I actually am always hoping that any work that I create outside will actually create more of an awareness of the place that it's in. Because the park to me is a very social place, I wanted a way to, to have it really visible that you know, the, the voice of many people could be expressed through this piece. And I, I would create the form, but the actual content would come from different people. So in a way, it's almost like a message board of people's thoughts about nature, about the park, about what they feel is important. You know, it's, it's philosophical, it's spiritual, it's funny. It just covers so much. Once the pieces of wood were cut, I packed up a bunch in my car and uh, used maybe five or six soldering tools that I had experimented with and took that and a display with me to different community centers and places where groups were meeting. And then they would actually burn in their contribution. And what was really nice was that the room would just fill with this campfire smell. And really unanimously, people loved that. What's wonderful about the work here is that I'm going to get to watch it over a period of time and, and see the effect of nature and weather and um, other forms of life inhabiting it. So in a way, this work is one of the more permanent works that I've done. And I'm getting to see it change rather than just have it up for a month in a gallery. Here it's going to actually have a life, which I think is wonderful, and it will change. It will just be so much richer as it starts to break down. I have no idea what will break down first or how the colors might change or how one side will change from the other, but it's, it's going to go on having this other life that I can't predict. So I'm just happy that I, can, that I live here and that I can, I can come and see it myself as this ongoing shifting form. <laughs>